Through the mirror, he could see his wife came by and sleeping on the bed. A gentle smile formed on his face, seeing the woman in her late twenties sleeping comfortably after turning and tossing on the bed during the whole night. She couldn't sleep last night because of their unborn child. After all, she is seven months along. During this phase, not being able to sleep at night is common due to changing position of the baby in the home. Him and his wife were going to be parents in just a couple of months. He always felt that it was just yesterday he met her. But in reality, he met her almost four years ago. When she got promoted as his assistant, he remembered how he disliked her at first for being late at her, but didn't fire her due to her being good at her job. She also didn't like him and often used to sarcastically reply to him. For them, it was hate at first sight. But then, then they themselves didn't know how they began to crave for each other's company instead of disliking. They didn't know when going for business trips together, they started to go to visit tourist places together. They didn't understand when they started to love each other. He said, remembering love will pass. He then grabbed his office bag and his grey blazer from the sofa, then he went towards Vyan. Over at Wyatt's level, I raised a gentle kiss on her forehead. I'm going to office. Take care, my love. Love you. Automatically, a smile crept on Wyatt's face, hearing his affectionate words in her sleepy step. After all, he's doing it for a long time now. It's kind of become his pre-office ritual. He then finally went for his work, but not before giving an affectionate kiss on her baby bump. Sometimes later. Vain woke up from her sleep and stretched her limbs. She yawned and looked at the clock. It read 11.30 am. Then her gaze shifted towards the night table where a note was laying. A smile formed on her face, knowing very well her husband must have mentioned her eat well during his absence, also not forget to take her medicine in that note. It's been months that they had lunch together. After all, Vyan had taken a break from office upon finding out they are going to have a baby. Vyan then placed her hand on her baby bump and said to her unborn child, Baby, don't you think we should surprise your dad today? It's been a while, right, that we had lunch together? Plus, that workaholic serial dad of yours often tends to forget eating his lunch. But that silly man doesn't forget to remind me to take medicine on time. She chuckled, remembering her husband's tactics. Then nodding her head, she said to herself, We should definitely surprise your dad with his favorite food. He should get some reward, right? She got up from the bed and went downstairs to inform their chef to... She also informed their caretaker that she is going to the young's office for lunch today. As 
soon as Vyan entered the office, the receptionist and other employees bowed at her. After all, Vyan was their boss's wife, also former secretary of their boss. When the receptionist said that the young was alone, Vyan thanked her for the information and went towards the young's cabin with the lunch basket in her hand. Walking when he heard the door knock, without looking at the door, he loudly said, Come in. The door cracked open and Vine entered the room. I thought accurately, CEO Sir is always too busy to take care for his lunch timing. wanted to surprise my husband today. She said while lifting the lunchbox in the air so that he could notice that. Now can this walk over see you take a back seat? I want to have some quality time with my dear husband while we have our lunch together. Yes he can but only when you gave him relief by answering you didn't drive here all alone, right? Vine rolled her eyes while sitting on the chair. Obviously, I didn't. I came here with Ray. Good. Now, oh, come on. I am hungry. Let's eat. Yes, my lady. Let's take in. almost done with his lunch when he noticed his wife was just toying with her food instead of eating it. The food on her plate was just half finished. What happened my love? Why are you not eating? I don't want to eat this anymore. And may I know why my love? I want to eat ice cream from the shop in front of her company. She said while pouting, which made him chuckle. If you finish a little more food from your plate, then I will take you there now. Her eyes lit up hearing his words. Really? Yes, my love. Okay, then let me finish some more food. Stating this, she started to eat her food excitedly and the young went to wash room to wash his hands and mouth. When the young came back, he saw Vaiyi was drinking water. Noticing him, she placed her half-empty water glass on the table. Done with lunch? Yes, let's go then. To help her to get up. At that moment, they heard a knock on the door. May I come in, sir? And as it was unusual for any employee to come at this hour due to its being lunch hour. But nevertheless, he shouted, Come! The door was opened, revealing his secretary Kylie West, who bowed at him and ignored Vine's presence as much as he could. Sir, Mr. Chu is waiting for you at the conference hall. Now, but wasn't it meeting tomorrow? Yes, but today contacted me. He said he had some urgent work tomorrow. That's why I gave him this time for meeting, as you were free this time. Cancel this meeting, I'm going out now. But sir, don't cancel it. You should be professional. But we were heading out, right? Plus the meeting is so spontaneous. Sometimes the urgent work comes between scheduled meetings. Anyways, don't cancel this meeting for my sake. But why? 
you finish your meeting quickly i will be there at the ice cream shop for a while now then i will go home after meeting with you only tired and defeat okay but you will not go alone He then looked at his secretary and said, "Miss Kylie, please accompany my wife to the ice cream shop below." Kylie nodded her head. Then both Kylie and Wagon headed outside the room, where as they started to gather files for the meeting. Wagin was walking carefully while trying to walk as fast as she could because the ice cream craving was too much for her to handle now only they were in that ice cream was on her mind behind her Kylie was walking her eyes were darting daggers on Wagin's back as she was feeling immense rage seeing Wagin She was feeling rage seeing Wagen walking happily while being by her love. but instead of reciprocating it he clearly stated that he was in love with another woman even if that woman doesn't reciprocate his feeling he would continue to love only her from that moment itself kaidi started to hate the woman thayang loved after all because of that woman only thayang didn't reciprocate it kaidi's love After all, because of Wagen, not only her love life but also her professional life too was receiving hindrance. Kaidi again looked at the woman in front of her. She didn't know why, but she felt to push the woman on the floor, a true place for her. So she did exactly that. You belong to the floor, Wagen. Without having any second thoughts, Kaidi pushed Wagen. suddenly pushed by his eyes widen by instinct she tried to grab the wall but she couldn't stable herself her scream left her mouth as she fell on the floor by her pelvic area all the employees nearby heard her scream and started to gather there soon the area became chaotic But Kylie stood there unaffected by all this. In fact, she felt a wave of satisfaction seeing Wayne writhing in pain. That's when he heard a scream. The voice was too much familiar to him. His heart started to beat faster as the scream was followed by a lot of people talking which was definitely unusual for his office environment. Was was it Wayne's scream? He started to walk faster to go to the corridor from where the scream resonated. His own fear came true when he bumped into a employee who came running towards him to inform his wife had fallen from the stairs the file in his hand fell down on the floor he then practically ran towards wine while panicking his breath hissed when he saw her on the floor 
by him. He immediately went towards her and held her without thinking about other people. She was practically shaking that time. My child tell nothing bad gonna happen to you nor to our child. Somebody help me to get her in my car. Seeing her tears and hearing her painful voice, he didn't want to wait for ambulance and took her to hospital with the help of two other employees. At hospital. Sitting outside the emergency room, Thayang was worrying about Vyan. Her panicking voice and the way she wasn't letting go of his hands were still haunting him. Sir, would you like to have a cup of coffee? Thayang looked at the source of the voice and found Vyan's driver named Ray who's been working for them since their wedding. Nodding his head, he was about to go to, towards the hospital canteen but stopped seeing the doctor approaching them. He immediately sat up seeing the doctor. How's she, doc? Thankfully, there isn't any broken bone but she sprained her ankle badly on both legs. They let out a sigh of relief. How's the baby? As she fell on the pelvis, her pelvis got damaged. She might not deliver the baby via normal labor. Other than that, the baby seemed to be fine. From now on, she should be strictly on full bed rest till delivery. I hope you are understanding. Saying this, she went from there. Thank God nothing worse happened. his head and said a silent prayer to the Almighty for saving his and their child from any big damage. Beside Vagin who was laying on the bed, he was holding her hand and caressing it lovingly. Occasionally, he was placing a gentle peek on them. later when he saw wine fluttering her eyes she struggled to sit on the bed he helped her easy my love easy our child the our child she desperately asked him while trying to feel her baby bump fortunately our baby is fine and nothing major happened to you Vyan hipped out a shy of relief hearing that. But you are strictly on bed rest till the delivery. Also, you need to go through C-section instead of normal labor. Then huffing, he said, Do you know how much scared I got? Thank God that nothing major happened to you. That's why I always say to you to work carefully, slowly. But no, you don't listen to me. Always running here and there. I didn't fall on my own, Thayang. Your secretary pushed me. Thanks, why didn't hearing her? My secretary, Kylie. I was working carefully, but she, she suddenly pushed me. If I had not supported myself by the wall, then I would have fallen on my belly with much more force. The thought of the horrible incident made Wagen visibly shiver. Thayang noticed it and squeezed her hand, comforting her. Don't worry, my love. Now you are safe. Why did she do that, Thayang? What kind of behavior was this? Maybe she has some severe mental problem, like psychopath or something like this? Why 
Vigan nodded her head, but then Kylie's love confession to Thayang came to her mind, which Thayang narrated her wants. Isn't she the one who confessed her love to you before we started dating? Yeah, she's the one. I said no to. I think she pushed me because of the hate and rage towards me. After all, because of being in love with me, you rejected her. I now remember how she always talked to me bitterly after we announced our relationship to everyone. She would always try to make you busy with work whenever I am around you. I'm feeling scared now. What if now she do much worse than this? Jealousy, hate, rage are not only self-destructive, but these also destroy others in their own flame too. You don't have to think about her anymore, my love. Just focus on your health and focus on our baby. Other things I will take care of it. A reassuring smile which was oddly enough to erase her ores. Now sleep, okay? You need a lot of rest. You were going somewhere, right? Thing placed her hand on her forehead and caressed the head. Need to take care of some problems, right? Anyways, when you would open your eyes, I would be right beside you, my love. I love you. I love you too. Toward his office, behind him, police officers also came. All employees stood up seeing them. Kylie too was there. She also stood up. Officers arrest Kylie West. She tried to harm my wife, also my child. Everyone's eyes widened hearing this. What? You can't do this. Obviously, we can, miss. We have warrant against you for attempting of Mrs. Vyan. What rubbish are you talking about? The CCTV footage might be telling other story then. Miss Kylie, we both very well know. You pushed my wife. So surrender yourself. Though I strongly believe you must need to be sent in a psychic hospital because no sane person would do what you did unless they are a psychopath. I love you, Thea. I love you from years. Even I rejected high salary offers because of you. What kind of love is this, where you are harming the person's family, loved one, whom you claim to love? This is nothing but obsession. You would regret this. First, think about yourself, Kylie, cause I would make sure none of reputable company would hire you again. The officers took Kylie from there and After all, he promised her he would be there when she woke up. End of the story.